6, a controversial hotel project is back on the minds of people in Sturgeon Bay. This after the city receives a letter saying the plan Alderman approved could violate state law. Opponents say it should not be built. The city says it plans to move forward. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel spoke with both sides and is live in the newsroom with the latest. Stacy, this is the letter that prompted today's quick, quick reaction from city leaders. It states that the hotel is set to be built on land that could be for public use only. And if that's the case, the hotel project could be stopped in its tracks. The blue line here is what their, that map shows as the ordinary high water mark. It's a and battle over water levels there. and historical maps. Those who oppose the new hotel in Sturgeon Bay hiring a Green Bay lawyer who may have found a way to stop it. It's under Wisconsin Constitution. Navigable water is always to be maintained for the public, even after it's filled. The argument, based off of what's called the ordinary high water mark, historical maps from 1904 show the area where the proposed hotel is to be built was once a part of a navigable waterway. Under the public trust doctrine, that land would only be for public use. But the city says they've got the DNR's blessing. The DNR not only did internal research within their department, they also engaged other departments of the state looking at historical maps. We reached out to the DNR who issued this statement to NBC26. The Sanborn maps they reference are older than the Wisconsin Supreme Court's definition of ordinary high water mark, 1914. And so those maps are not showing the ordinary high water mark boundary by today's standards. Now the DNR is basing their decision on water level using maps from 1925 and 1955. And right now it's unclear how this information will impact hotel plans moving forward. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Raquel Lamel, NBC 26. New charges.